exactly three days ago, I posted on the channel post asking you if you have an informative gaming faceless channel, and the majority had said no. So today I will provide you with a detailed explanation about creating a good gaming channel from scratch without the need for a powerful computer or advanced equipment. All you have to do is watch the video from the beginning to the end without wasting any information because the video will be informative. In this video, I will explain how to make a video related to this niche step by step. But before that, I want to tell you that we are about to reach 5,000 subscribers. Can we reach it before the end of this week? I trust you guys. So if we go to YouTube and search for gaming niche, we will find many videos and we will find videos that have received millions of views. This is assured that this niche exactly has a large audience. We will take advantage of this audience and we will create content related to it. Of course, it will not be clips in which you do not burn the events. Let's start explaining. First of all, before we enter the explanation of how to make videos, we must first talk about the gaming channel in general and learn about its types. The first division we will face is whether the channel is faceless channel or channel with face. That is, whether the owner of the channel appears his face in the videos or not. We will talk about these in detail, but we will focus on faceless channel. So first, the owners of the channels of the games, specifically the first type that they show, which they use the webcam to. Many of them have their content related to these topics. They do not play a game and record a video of a screen with a video in which they appear and their features appear and interact while playing. As for the second type, they perform reviews of the new games, where if a new game appears, they try it. And of course, the owners of this channel appear in their faces so that the audience discover their facial expressions and facilitate communication. The third type often enters the game server and plays with a group of people where he uses webcam and makes a live either on the applications dedicated to fates or on YouTube. And there are many celebrities doing the same thing as some of them record clips from the live and publish them on YouTube, i.e. their channel, and benefit twice from videos if they make lives in sites other than YouTube. And there are many ways, but these are the most famous of them. Now we will talk channels whose owners do not appear either because of the lack of tools such as the micro, camera, or the power of the computer. So they use the least tools to create successful and profitable content. Here I wrote you some examples of the topics of these channels. First, there is a type that only records a screen in a game. For example, in this channel, exactly in 2020, I used to make videos of the game Free Fire Clips with the addition of some audio effects and exciting music free of copyright. As for the flexory types, they are similar to the genre, but it only adds either his personal voice where he speaks while he is a player. That is, he can tell a story while playing. He only uses tools with artificial intelligence that compensates his personal voice, for example, the site of Eleven Labs, which I used, I am personally in this channel. As for the genre, the third is his channel only specialized in explaining how to download games, for example, or how to pass some stages of games or something like that. And the last type is the type that we will explain in detail today. We will also make a video today related to this genre. That's why I wrote you some ideas that you can use to create your own content and take it the topic specific to this exact niche, you will find this file below the video, which is in the description of the video. Let's start making our video. I'll choose the first place, so I'll copy and go to chat GPT like this. Then I'll ask him to suggest three games that we can play in weak computers. We'll wait until he writes the script we asked for. After that, we will go to the Canva website. We will open a page of 16.9 size. Then we will search for the topic of games. Then many models will be harmed with us. We will choose one of them like this. Then we will delete all the existing writing as you can see. Then you will download the image in this way. Now we will need videos whose subject is related to games. So we will need the sites Pexels and Pixabay. And then we search for videos related to gaming. We will choose the appropriate number of videos that we will need. For example, I will download between five to seven videos. So now we will go back to ChatGPT and copy the names of the games like this. And we search for them on YouTube, where we will try to download a video for the game that must be copyright free. If you do not find it, it is not a problem. Just use any video because we will only make it for explanation. 
we search for videos related to the third games and download them. Now we'll go back to ChatGPT and ask him to just write us an excellent hawk for our video if he wrote it, and you don't like, just ask him to rewrite it so that he can write it successfully and excellently. After you finish this now, you will go to the Eleven Labs website, copy your script like this, paste it here, and then you get a wait for our audio to prepare and download it. I prefer to use Adam's voice in these video quality. Now we will need music. We will return to the Pixabay website. You will search for songs related to gaming. You will choose one of these games and download them. Now, we will open the CapCut application and add all the tools that we downloaded earlier. First, we will add the video that we will use as the background to the introduction. Then we will add the audio for the hawk. We will delete the blank clips from the audio like this. Then we will rearrange them. And in the same way, we will add the audio of the first game. Then we will add the emig that we downloaded from the Canva website. Then we will add the video of the game that we downloaded from YouTube like this. Then we will choose a clip that does not exceed six seconds. Then we will cut this clip. As you can see, after that, we will add another video, but it will be from the videos we downloaded from the previous sites like this. Also, if the video is long, we will shorten its duration a little. Then we will add a clip from the video of the game also. It must be less than six seconds as well. And in this way, we will add after a clip from another video we downloaded from the sites we mentioned earlier, and so on until we finish. I will re-explain so that everyone can get the steps. If, as I said, we first add the picture, and then adjust its duration with the time when the name of the game is mentioned. Then we add a clip of the game that we downloaded from YouTube, which should not be more than six seconds. And then we add another video of the videos that we downloaded from the sites and so on until we finish with all the videos. Don't forget to reduce the sound of the videos that have sounds. After we finish this, we go back to the videos and increase their size so that they fill the screen, so you get more than all the videos. After that, we add a fade out animation to the video that is in the other like this. Then we return to the image that we added three times before each game. We add zoom animation to it like this to give us an aesthetic to the video. We will add this animation to all the images we have added. As for the videos, we will try to add such animations, but differently different from those that we added to the photos to give a difference and aesthetics to the video. Now we will add music like this and we will reduce the sound so that it does not exceed the narrator's voice. Do not forget to add fade out and fade in it as I am now, after adjusting the duration of the music with the video. Now we're going to transitions like this, exactly camera transitions, and add them to videos. This quality of transitions is the best on CapCut. Now we will go to text option, then to auto captions, we choose the English language, then click on create, and we are wait for the sentences to appear like this. After that, we will choose this template to write, and then we try to adjust its place like this. Now we will add this image that is useful in misleading the place below the video. This is how we will try to adjust it with the bottom of the video like this, and then we will extend its duration as you can see. You can also add after the effects on the videos, that remains your choice. Now we will search for logo games one by one, but we will try to search for it in PNG form, or we delete the background for it. The use of a site from the sites available on Google that provide this service for free. 
After uploading it, we will attempt to add it exactly when the name of the game appears, as we will add it like this, and the name of the game will be just below the picture. Then we will add animation to the image fade out and shake. Then now we will search for some emojis that we will use. You will download from YouTube. After downloading them, you will add them to the video. This is how you delete your background, as you can see. Then you will add animation. We'll also search for a whoosh sound effect that we'll add in all places that contain transitions like this. To extract the video, you must check the quality of the video and the number of its frames. It must be 60 FPS. We meet in a new video. Bye bye. If your PC is not a powerhouse, no worries. These three games will still run like a dream. Stardew Valley, Terraria, and Undertale. Stardew Valley. This indie farming simulation game doesn't require high-end hardware to run smoothly. It offers relaxing gameplay where you can manage your own farm, interact with villagers, and explore the countryside. It's highly addictive and can run on even older or less powerful computers. Terraria. This 2D sandbox adventure game is reminiscent of classics like Minecraft, but with its own unique charm. It features exploration, crafting, building, and combat in a pixelated world. Its retro-style graphics make it lightweight and suitable for weaker PCs while offering a lot of content and replay value. Undertale, a critically acclaimed RPG that focuses on story and characters rather than graphics. Its retro-style graphics are simple yet charming, and the gameplay is designed to run smoothly on low-end machines. Undertale offers a unique narrative experience with memorable characters, multiple endings, and innovative combat mechanics.